A segment of the Cavite Laguna Expressway has recently been opened to motorists. Its significance will be discussed on this edition of Motoring Forum. By this time, motorists are experiencing the benefits of the 14.24 segment of the 45km Cavite Laguna Expressway or CALAX now in operation. With completion and opening of the Salang East Interchange, motorists can now travel from Mamplasat in Binyan Laguna up to Silang East, exiting at Tibig Road in Silang, Cavite. The DPWH and CALAX concessionaire MP Cal Holdings Inc. or MHI estimate the operational segment can now accommodate 5,000 motorists daily. When fully complete and operational, the 45km CALAX, built at a cost of approaching 56 billion pesos, will be serving 45,000 vehicles daily while providing a seamless link between the Cavitex and the SLEX. Itong project, from two hours yung biyahe from, uh, from Cavite to Laguna, kung dati po two hours, one hour na lang. Pag natapos rin yung connector ng MNTC, yung biyahe po from SDEX to NLEX, 10 minutes din ulit. So makakaroon ng dalawang bypass ang EDSA. And that's a great comfort to the Filipinos. Calax will also have several exchanges including at Kawit, Governor's Drive, the Open Canal, Silang Aguinaldo Highway, Silang East, Santa Rosa Tagaytay, Laguna Boulevard, and Laguna Techno Park, making many communities of Cavite and Laguna easily accessible to each other. This is expected to boost trade between the two provinces as well as tourism and economic activity in the Calabarazon region. Another expected benefit is that the Calax will help decongest traffic on Governor's Drive, Aguinaldo Highway, and the Santa Rosa Tagaytay Road. We are committed, ang MP Kala, MP TC, at ang MP committed with the partnership with the national and local government to bring this important road project into completion. The Calax is also setting new benchmarks for safety and convenience and efficient operations of Exus Way, as well as for green operations. According to the DPWH and the MHI, the Calax has been designed to be a green and sustainable Exus Way. It will have spaces for trees, plants, and other flora all along the Exus Way, as well as at interchanges to help absorb carbon emissions. The Extras Way will also use LED lighting systems and renewable solar energy to power its tool plazas, full equipment and systems, and operations management center. According to DPWH Secretary Mark Villar, the Calax is part of the Luzon Spine Extras Way network that will connect the northernmost part of Luzon to its southernmost portion. The benefits of more convenient, more secure, and more accessible motoring, however, come at a cost. With just a little more than 40 kilometers of the Calax in operation, the toll rates as approved by the Toll Regulatory Board range from 14 to 64 pesos for Class 1 vehicles, 29 to 128 pesos for Class 2 vehicles, and 43 to 192 pesos for Class 3 vehicles depending on entry and exit point. The country, particularly those in the main island of Luzon, will soon find itself crisscrossed by interlinked tollways. It will certainly mean faster, more convenient inter-province motoring, but at a cost. Will the safety and convenience be worth it? That's our morning forum this week, courtesy of Suzuki Philippines.